Sally, what, what are you doing here? I wasn't so... Hey, hey, I'm not dressed. How dare you write a thing like this? Like what? Like this. This is a Dear Dora column. As if you didn't know. Honey, I know what a fanatic you are about these advice columns, but I really don't... Just read it. Aloud. Let me say something. A Dear Dora, I am engaged to a person who is very critical of me in every way. I know I'm not perfect, but quite often my often. free... Aunt... I've told you a million times the word is often. Often, quite often. Quite often my fiancé nags me over such minor points as the way I talk and dress. I am bossed around whenever we're together, and I don't dare object for fear my fiancé will fly into a rage. What can I do? Confused. Well, why do you have me read this dumb letter? Because you wrote this dumb letter. Sally, I did not write this letter. It's just a coincidence. Coincidence? You agree with what's in it. But I didn't mean that. I mean... The only person who would agree with what's in this letter is the person who told the entire world that I'm bossy and critical and unreasonable, and I am just as reasonable as the next person. <laughs> Calm down. You don't have to fly into a rage. You said that in the letter, too. That's ridiculous. Ridiculous? I'll show you just how ridiculous it is. You can take back your ring and give it to dear Dora. I don't even read dear Dora. Sally! Sally! Good evening, Mrs. Johnson. <laughs> Excuse me, uh, you're not dear Dora, are you? I'm afraid I am. Oh, and in the picture she has white hair. Ah, that's the dear Dora that retired to Florida in 1952. <laughs> well, um, look, I know you must be busy, but I'm in a terrible jam, and you're the only one who can help me out of it. Well, in that case, write to Dear Dora care of this paper and enclose a self-addressed stamped envelope. You'll get a personal reply. No, 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 this is, this is an emergency. You see, this uh, column the other day, the letter from Confused, my girl thinks I wrote it. You're confused? Yeah. And, I mean, no, I'm not the confuser who wrote the letter. I'm just confused about the whole uh, confusion. <laughs> what do you want me to do about it? Well, I thought maybe you could tell her that I was innocent. You know, run a single line in the column saying, uh, Dear Sally, Bob is not confused. Uh, could you? Huh? Please, Dora? Harriet. My name is Harriet. Harriet. Dear Harriet. <laughs> <laughs> could you? How do I know you didn't write the letter? Because I didn't. That's not really sufficient. I mean, I didn't know you. I get a lot of nuts in here. I can give you a sample of my handwriting. You can match the two of them. I remember now. That letter was typewritten. I can give you a sample of my typewriting. Uh, look, I, I really don't think I can help you. Uh, okay, thank you uh, very much, Harriet. You just wrecked my whole life. Uh, uh, hey, confused. Oh, let me name this. Don't go. You will help me? Well, I have to. I took a sworn oath into the office. And... Can you keep a secret? Yeah, I think so. I'm confused. You what? Look, we don't have to go through the whole thing, but I'm the one that wrote the letter. You wrote yourself a letter? I'm just looking for a little free advice. Have you got any? <laughs> well, um, what seems to be the problem? Well, Daryl, he's my fiancé. He's always picking on me. He criticizes the way I organize my apartment, my work. My fiancé criticizes the way I organize my life. Maybe I should be more on time, you know, and be more organized. Yeah, well, maybe I should send flowers and remember shopping lists and make reservations and all those things. Maybe we should both try hard. To understand them. Well, I, uh... I'd be getting on with my work. Yeah. Me too. Um, tell Sally to call me. I'll tell her you didn't do it. Now, could have been me. <laughs> Did you say something? No, no, no. Uh, Harriet? 
Yes. Yeah. You've been a great help to me with this uh, problem. I have? Yeah. yeah, and I have another problem I think you might be able to help me with. You do? Yes, I'd like to do it right this time. Now, uh, can oh, yeah? you use your typewriter? Oh, absolutely. Thank you very sure. much. <laughs> yeah, I think this time I will put it in letter form. Huh? Go ahead. Uh, forgot. Don't know how to type. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do. Yeah? Well, yeah. can I dictate? Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you sure. ready? Dear Dora. For several years now, I have been involved with the wrong woman. Now I've met a very charming journalist with whom I have a lot in common. Do I stand a chance? Signed, Hoping. Dear Hoping, why don't you try asking her out to dinner tonight? 